Hello, my dear brothers and sisters. Happy Sunday. Mm, welcome back to my channel. And today, let us have again a reflection of the words of God taken from the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 4, verse 35 to 41. On that day, when evening had come, Jesus said to, his, to the disciples, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. Other boats rode him. A great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion, and they woke, and they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased, and there was a deed calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this man that even the wind and the sea obey him? Okay. My dear brothers and sisters, this passage is uh, what we may call a prophetic action on the part of Jesus. His action of calming the storm is a way of speaking to us about his own, our own lives. The first thing to reflect upon is that Jesus was there in the center of the storm. He was on the boat while the waves came crashing all over. But the key is that he was there. This tells us that whenever we experience a storm in our lives, Jesus is there in the midst of it. He is not far away. Rather, he is right there. But we also notice that he is asleep. One thing we can take from this is that Jesus awaits our prayer, that Jesus is just waiting for us to call him, that in times of difficulties, in times of hardships, and in times that we are full of problems, Jesus is just waiting for us to call him. He waits for us to turn to him in the midst of the storm. That must be our first thought whenever we, fe we feel overwhelmed or challenged by life's circumstances. There are times that when we are full of problems, we are blaming God, God, are you there? Hmm? So, but usually, of course, when we are in, at the point of depression, when we are... Uh, in the center of the storm, when we are in the middle of the storm in our lives, when we are in the middle of the storm in our journey, then we need just not forget to call him. Pray for him. Ask for his help. Ask for his mercy. Notice that the prayer of the apostles is similar to how we may pray at times. The apostles said, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? So often we turn to God saying, Lord, where are you? Lord, why are you not helping? Lord, why do you leave me in this time of um, hardships? In the time that I am, my life is full of problems, in the time that I am so hopeless, why are you we aren't there. Where are you? Why are you not helping me? We are, most of us may say that way. Then especially when there are problems that come our way, we will, we will say that, Lord, why are you, why do you allow me to experience this? Why do you allow me to undergo these hardships? Why do you leave me alone? That will be our common statements, common questions to God. 
why do we why do we blame God? Okay, why are you not helping, Lord? But we should know that God is often silent as a way of coming us to Himself, so that we turn to Him in trust and confidence. Okay. Do you believe, my brothers, and, my dear brothers and sisters, that in times of difficulties, when problems come, when storm come along our way, when we are full of problems, do you believe, or do we believe, that it is just a part of the test given by God, so that we will be reminded that He is there waiting for us to call for His mercy? That He is just there waiting for our prayer. That He is just there waiting, waiting for us to call Him. Waiting for us, wait, waiting for us to ask His help. So those are just reminders. Since there are times, especially when you are full of, when you are full of excitement when we feel that we are so successful in our life we may we may uh, we sometimes forget Jesus we sometimes forget that everything that we have here on earth is just borrowed from God we sometimes forget that our life is borrowed is just borrowed from God we sometimes forget that everything here on earth is not ours so that's why we sometimes experience difficulties that's why we sometimes experience storms in our lives since we are starting to forget jesus so since jesus loves us then he will not allow us to follow in the different path because he wanted us to be to be in the right path that he deserve, uh, he designed for us so he sent trials he sent illnesses he sent problems to us so that we can remember to call him just took their prayer and responded so jesus just took our prayers and responded his response was simply to manifest his authority over the storm he rebuked it and said quiet be still with that the storm had no ability to continue and all was calm that's why people were wondering the apostles were wondering who, who this man is, who this man really is, that even the sea and the storm obey him. We must know that Jesus did this so that we would have confidence that he can handle any hardship we face. There is no storm too great for him, nothing he cannot handle. And the same with us, Always remember that God doesn't give us a problem that we cannot bear. God doesn't give us a problem with which we cannot handle. We must know that Jesus did this again so that we can have confidence that he can handle any hardship we face. There is no storm too great for him. Even how there are, there is no problem that God cannot solve. Uh, that that God, God cannot solve. God d doesn't give us trials that we cannot bear. And if you think that it's so heavy, don't forget to call Him. Because Jesus said, "Just call my name, and I'll be there." Reflect today on what frightens us the mo most each day. Let us have to, hire, to have a reflection today. What are those things that frightens us the most of each day? What are those things that we are afraid of? What are those things that we are frightened of? Probably, we are afraid of losing our loved ones. 
probably we are afraid of losing a job and probably we are afraid of losing our lives of course because you may say that Lord please extend my life because I am still needed by my kids my kids still needed me my kids still needed my support and that's usually the very thing that we are frightened of it's day. What is it that shakes our faith? What are those things that shakes our faith? Probably it's the problem. There are some cases that even how far we have been serving God, even how far we tried to serve Him, how far we tried to be good, but still, we feel that there are persons who are trying to persecute us. We feel that there are that still there are persons who try to pull us down. How do we manage those cases? If you are not strong enough, if you don't have uh, faith in God, then probably we will be blown by that storm. Turn to Jesus in the midst of that and know He is there ready to bring peace and calm. So whatever problems we may have, whatever trials we may encounter, whatever storms that will come along our way, do not forget to call, to call His name. Lord, I know you will not leave me alone. I know you will not give me problems that I cannot bear. But Lord, I think that is so much. Please help me handle this. So let us always call his help since we can do nothing without him. Despite of how we strive hard for our success, despite of how we strive hard for the goodness, for the benefits of others, but still, there are those who are not satisfied of what we are doing. Still, there are those who are not satisfied of what we have done for the benefit of everybody. But still, always take note that those are just trials that measures. Those are the just trials that measure our faith in God. We may just say, Lord, Okay, this afternoon, we may say, Lord, I invite you into my life and into my room. I invite you into my life and into my storm. I know you can do all things for me, O God. So I beg for your peace and calm in my heart. Help me to always turn to you. Help me to always call your name whenever I am in the middle of the storm. Help me, O oh Lord, so that I can handle everything in my life because I can do nothing without you, O oh Lord. Jesus, I trust in you.